do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Hello, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Last time, I a little bit died, maybe. Uh, died slightly. Slightly dead. Also, Greg and I made a robot, and it has a cleaver in one arm, and we gave it to Angus, and hopefully it doesn't kill anybody. Uh, I, it probably isn't so much a robot as, like, an animatronic, though, right? I, I get the impression it was built out of parts from animatronics anyway. I should check those messages, see how things are going over with Greg and Angus. Hello, Greg and Angus. Update. The robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway. Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. I don't have no response to this, apparently. <laughs> Wait a minute, what time is it even? I, I keep sleeping into the early afternoon to mid-afternoon to late afternoon, and I think people else, other people actually have to get up at reasonable times, huh? How are you doing, B? Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello. I am here to be helloed at. <laughs> Very good. Well, we'll probably have to do that then, shan't we? Hello, Charcoal. Charcoal. There you are. Okay, what's the news today? Home Dome. Mortgage got you down. New app allows you to rent out your bathroom as a public toilet. <laughs> uh, 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 no, that, no, no, none of, no, none of that, no. Plus, you'd have to charge people to use your toilet, and that's also kind of awful in the first place. Pay toilets, I know, are a thing elsewhere. I haven't seen a lot of pay toilets around here, but, like, even so, maybe don't, maybe don't do that thing. Good morning, house. I mean, good afternoon, house. I don't seem to actually get up in mornings, and that's fine. Hello, bird. Well, no, no, hello, bird. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. I mean, you're clearly doing it at the moment. The bird isn't responding, but, you know, that's a minor complication. Just a matter of imagination at this point, I would think, yeah? Dad! 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 Dad, how much TV do I have to watch with you in order to get you to clear out the friggin' crawl space? That's well, fine. It's fine. Gives, it, it gives me something to anticipate for the future. Someday, someday I'll be able to go into the crawl space and find out what's back there, because clearly... Mom, are you okay? She doesn't look okay. Mom, what's up? Yawn. I, it's hard to make yawn noises. Actually, I just caused myself to yawn. Anyway. Mm. Morning. Long night. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm-hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. No, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. I mean, technically. No comment? Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. It doesn't seem like she's going to. I hope everything's okay, financially speaking. I suppose I'm probably going to need to, like, start contributing to the household if I'm gonna stay here or something like that, huh? But I bet you May doesn't want to talk about that. Hi. We're not done here. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Numbers, indeed, apparently. I cannot help you with numbers, sadly. I, n I never noticed the birds on the wall. One bird, up bird, two bird. Hmm. It almost looks like a code, but it's probably not. It's probably just birds. I'm going over here. What's going on out here? Less rain than yesterday. That's kind of nice, I suppose. I don't know. Rain's okay. On occasion. And May doesn't seem to mind the rain so much. So I guess it's not so bad as all that. Still, you know. It just feels nice, haven't it? Whoa, 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 hey, there's something up here. What's this? When the flood happened that one year, this pole fell over, and I was scared it'd somehow electrify the water all over the neighborhood, and it'd stay that way. And I was kind of afraid of taking a shower or turning on the faucet for weeks. I mean, fair enough. That's some pretty unusual circumstances. Hello, squirrel. This is my spot, please, thank you. After the flood, it laid in our yard for two weeks, like a big, dead thing. But then they put it back up, and I could see it from my window at night. And it felt spooky for some reason. Because it tried to kill you, May. Because it tried to kill you. Spooky pole. Undead friend. Watching me from the curb. Oh, actually, yeah, I didn't think about it from that aspect. It's not so much that it tried to kill you, it's that it died and came back. 
I see. Undead pole. Very good. I feel like that warrants a journal entry, but maybe I can't draw while I'm on the telephone wire. I can see that being a thing. Is it, can I actually go to the next screen up here? I can. Look at that. And there's my teacher. I do want to talk to him, but first, but first, let's just make sure there wasn't anybody, you know, down below at the normal street level that most people walk around on. What is going on here? It looks like the pumpkin is barfing? Is this intentional? No one can explain to me about this. Our house is one of the only ones that doesn't have any holiday decorations. But I guess my parents are busy and I don't, you know, tend to such things. Mm. I guess it must be getting close to Halloween? Perhaps? We're somewhere in the October range, according to Selmers, you know? Well, I don't know if that's what Selmers meant by that, but I, I assume we're getting we're in October somewhere. Anyway, hi, Selmers. Totally what's up, Selmers? You know you know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding on your seat in junior high? Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself? Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom? <laughs> Are these the best things I have? To th okay, hang on. Bleeding on your seat in junior high. Falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at serious senior prom. Like, I'm guessing I get the story of one of these things if I bring it up. But I wonder which one is... Hmm. Bleeding on your seat in junior high. I feel like I can see where that's coming from. That sounds like a bad time, but also... I really want to know what seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. I, I, I wish to know this story. Tell me this story. Um... I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat in grade school. Oh, right! Yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. <laughs> Apparently we're not discussing it. Wanna hear a new poem? Yes, yes I do. Yes I do. Tell me the poem. Sometimes... I like fruit snacks. Out by the train tracks. Decent, yeah, solid start. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. <laughs> I like it. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks, blue clear squeezer. What else you got to get there, Selmers? I think Mr. Ch Chazikov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on the stoop one day. Does he not live here? Does he just sort of get on your roof and look at the stars? Like, is, he, is there no place better to look at the stars around here? There are a lot of roofs you can get to fairly easily. I mean, by certain people's standards. Hmm, anyway, hi. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there by the other night. Up by there the other night. Wonder who was up there? Hmm, a fire by the water tower, you say? I don't even know where that is, so I can't really help you with that. Hi there, don't shoot me. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. I mean, my condolences about the poop from your dog, but like, I'm not getting off your porch, so. Better get some bags, I guess? I don't know. It sounds like not my problem, that's what that sounds like. Windowsills, windowsills, that's how we get up to talk to Mr. Chazikov. Mr. Chazikov, just who I wanted to see. Hello there. May Borowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Okay, so you do live here. It's just that people get uncomfortable when you stand on the roof. How are you related to Selmers? Do you just... Is, is Selmers your child? I don't know. Anyway, yep. Come to hunt some Dusk Stars? Definitely, or No thanks. No, I, 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 want, I, I wish for Dusk Stars. Give me Dusk Stars. Come have a look. Okay, what we got? Ah, my... The filter. The filter, mate. We know about the filter. Filter! Ugh... Okay, cool. Well, someday I'll remember that before just jamming my eyeballs in there. Hold on, I got something here. Not that, not that. This one? This one. What do we got today? Found one, found one, found one! Let's have a look. Uh, okay. What's happening here? Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the, by, by the time they got to these rare stars, well, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Okay, is that how it works? Oh, you're definitely not making this stuff up on the fly, are you? This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all going to be bummers, huh? Was he not psychic? Uh... Um, I mean, just because you see the future coming doesn't mean you can change it. Uh... uh probing question. Was he not psychic? Who can say? 
Do we believe any tale occurred? Hmm. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an, ast an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? Or, that sounds fair. Uh, did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to, take, to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Wait, did I read that right? Some, that didn't that didn't feel right. I think I missed it up, but I, I I tried to just breeze from one line to the next. In any case, it, it it is worth considering. Was there no obligation to Sterling, who had served the king up until this point, even though technically maybe Sterling was wrong? Who knows? Are they obsolete? That's how life is. Or no? Um. I forget the format of the question. <laughs> um. Let's go with no. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. Okay, that is the answer I wanted to give to his question, so apparently it worked out. It felt like it probably would, but I wasn't sure if these were both, you know, if he was only giving you one actual answer to the, oh hey, that one's still there, uh, to the question that he was asking, you know. But yes, no, that is not the way this person should be treated. Probably, maybe, I don't know. This one. Two at a time, right? Boom. Found one. Let's see. Okay. Ah, yes, Simone the Fighter. She got a gun. <laughs> Simone lived in a good land. How, how can how can May see the, the drawing? <laughs> I, I guess power of imagination. Hmm. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Ch Chazikov, or geez. Um, sure, it was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks, I was just reading the summary off my phone. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? It's a good question. That's a lot of pressure for one person. That is. But. But was she? We do not know where Simone is buried, so no. <laughs> is that a no? Ah, god damn it, I knew this wasn't gonna be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. <laughs> Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. That's both of them for today. Neato. That was Neato. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chazikov. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> I like Mr. Chazikov, by the way. I, I enjoy him very much. Sterling and Simone. Right after the page where I died and Greg rules, okay? So apparently the, um... The, uh... Dusk... I, I really wish that I'd asked about Dusk Stars instead of making the band name joke because I want more information about what Dusk Stars theoretically are. But apparently they get... They get the, uh... They get shuffled in to my journal where they happen sequentially, which makes sense because that's how everything else works too. Well, not everything, but most things, you know, aside from like individuals around town. Anyway, thank you. See you another time, maybe in a couple days. I wonder where he is when he's not up there on the roof. Presumably he must be so, who is that? There's someone here. There's someone I've never seen before. Hello there. I'm behind you. I cannot speak with you. I, you do not exist as far as I can tell. You are ignoring me. Well, fine, I guess. Not much I can do about that. Wasn't there a way I could get up further? Up 
up this building. B's house. B's apartment complex. The one that I said was Maze last time because I apparently can't keep my own name straight, which is pretty cool. Pretty proud of myself there. Okay, I feel like if I use the window sills, I can get up there, right? Yes, I can. I have been up here before, right? I'm pretty sure I have, yeah. Yeah, this seems like it. How come I can't jump on that cord? Just not, not stable enough to take my weight? And here's the other barfing pumpkin, right? But then I got on top of this roof and there wasn't anything up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah okay, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. I don't think there's anything else to be done here right now, so... Whoop, whoa, okay, I was wrong. Hello? Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions, but we did get a library. They got turned into apartments. Is that this building right here? I assume it was, must be. Hmm, I don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while, wow. Okay, erected 1910. Okay, apparently. So apparently he didn't want to be known as a uh, enemy of the unions, if in fact that was the case. Who knows? Who knows? Possibly dad. B has this dude right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold Stalkerbomb. <laughs> apparently, yes. Where is he? Hello, B. Did you get my text? <laughs> Arnold Stalkerbomb. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like finding that sort of thing around town. Like, what was the other one? What's the other one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gotta find it now. Not, not maybe. Maybe it was very good, but that's not what I was talking about. Where was it? There was like a thing that I found, and then I got a little sketch, and it was worth it. It was all worth it, but now I can't find my sketch. Honey, I'm Horm. That's it. That was it. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go to the left. Are you okay? I feel like that guy's dragging around town in that particular state most of the time when I see him. He's probably not okay, but I can't talk to him, so I don't know anything. Uh, nothing has changed here. I'm not going to waste any time. Unless the notes in the back keep swapping out and I just am not paying attention, which is potentially true, but I, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. This guy! I'm going to listen to you uh, recite your own poetry or something? Hi. Life long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh God, please don't listen. <laughs> this one did seem a little bit, a little bit personal, as these things go. Yeah, yeah. But the tunnel fish are always there. That is true. Do I have to steal another pretzel for the for the rats? I bet you I do. I'm going on. I bet some rat babies will love a delicious pretzel. Okay, okay. I've never messed this up yet. Let's not do have this be the first time. Watch to see if the pattern's changed. I'm just standing here, dude. I'm not doing nothing. I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. See? See? I'm just, like, stretching my arm. Just stretching my arm a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, you know, this, these are my fingers. My twisty, bready fingers. Don't even think about it. Don't worry about it. It's entirely normal that this is... Th this is just what my hand looks like. I don't know what you're on about. Like, yes, it looks similar to the, to the confections that you do make at this here stand. But, like, mostly you do pierogies, right? And clearly that's not a pierogi. It's my, it's my hand. Don't even worry about it. I wasted time. I wasted time. There we go. There we go. Getting the hang of this. Apparently, yes, I am. I'm getting better at stealing. Building skills, which I can use to make a living, question mark? Hi there. Let's talk about my grandfather. How are you? Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones wherever I go. So no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh, yes. Where was I? Something about a tide rolling out? Troublemakers in my family? Uh, that's what we were talking about was troublemakers in my family. I don't remember the tide rolling out part of things. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Troublemakers in my family? Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old... The, the Lodge of Old? <laughs> the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the HB. HB. That's where I met your granddad, oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects, prone to fits of melancholy, but funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What did your daddy say about him? Strict but nice? 
distant but trying? Hmm. I'm going with this one. Distant but trying. Sounds right. That sounds... She's tired, I bet you. You alright, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better? Oh, May. Oh, dear May. I'm not sure that feeling better is a thing that happens eventually, but, like, still, hope your day goes okay. Probably seen a couple days. I feel like you weren't here yesterday. It makes sense. I mean, you, won't, you don't want to stand, hang out at the pierogi stand absolutely every day, right? Probably not, anyway. I mean, I'm going to keep stealing the pretzels every day, but that's, that's unrelated. That's irrelevant to you, Miss Rosa. I do enjoy talking to her. I wish that I had better retention of the... Uh, okay, there's, there's a... Are you an otter? You might be an otter. I was going to say you're a cat, but clearly you're not. You don't have the pointed ears. You got these whiskers, which don't look like mine. I'm thinking you're maybe an otter. What are you doing hanging outside this building, and why can I talk to you? Who knows? Let's find out. Hey, CJ? Apparently I know you. CJ. Yeah? You were, like, in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Uh, did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Branwell. <laughs> Tom Bramwell. Nerd games. What are what are nerd games in this case? Across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Okay, I was wondering if it was TTRPGs. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank, or what's the best way to get out of jail? <laughs> hmm. 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 I... Hmm. I'm already kind of getting good at stealing things, right? Robbing a bank is on a whole nother level, and I don't know that a lawyer is necessarily going to have the best advice for me on how to rob a bank, necessarily. Unless there are legal loopholes for this sort of thing, I suppose. Get out of jail, though. I mean, probably the best way to get out of jail is not get there in the first place, I suppose. Mm. Let's see what kind of advice he's got for robbing a bank. It does seem less likely that I'll use that information than the get out of jail advice. But I'm curious. CJ, what do you think about this? Robbing a bank? That's not really legal advice. Legal is like laws, right? Uh, and bank robbing is a crime, right? And crimes are against the law? It's all related. I guess just, uh, you know, bandit mask and a gun? Eh, it's been done. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. Well, that seems like a problem. You should get right on that. What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ! <laughs> Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. <laughs> uh, uh, see ya. I bet I can't talk to him anymore. Yep, yep, I've, I've ruined this particular opportunity to talk to a guy. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's alright. I wonder if it would have been any different at all if I had uh, pursued the matter of getting out of jail rather than the matter of robbing a bank. He didn't have any useful advice. I guess this isn't too surprising. I'm guessing he wouldn't have had any particularly useful advice about uh, getting out of jail either. But well, maybe I'm just being a little judgy here. I don't know. Telezoft has nobody outside, bemoaning their, their, their predicaments. And here we are back at the stairs. Okay, let's go see how Mom's doing. I gotta have a routine. See, I gotta go around town in a, in a, in a cycle, in a system. I have a system. You gotta follow the system. All right. Mom first, then Pastor K, then Bruce. That's the way it works. Hello, mother. Wow, you really are having a bad day, huh? Is it all just financial stuff? Hmm, I'm worried. Hello. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. Okay, so she's just genuinely overworked at the moment. I can 
pester her some more. I feel like the respectful thing to do is not, but also there's a little speech bubble over your head, Mom. I'm really sorry. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'll, 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 I'll get out of your hair. What is this door? What is this door? I can't go in there. I wish to. It calls to me. It's fine. Sanctuary time. Sanctuary time. Pastor K, you in here? Maybe somebody else is in here. You never know. Whoa, it's the it's the committee. The ones that walk around the town and, 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 and rag on things they don't like. Hello. He's very nice. You're talking about Bruce, aren't you? Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together Forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. Hmm. I don't know about those four. I don't know about them. Hmm. What do you think about them, Pastor K? How's things? Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was cozy. So I could take a nap guilt-free. You feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. It does, doesn't it? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's going fine. Is it now? Is it now, Pastor K? I can tell when you're lying to me, Pastor K. I can, I can hop up and down these stairs. Are you aware? Look at this. Look at this. I'm amazing. I'm amazing at hopping on stairs. Yeah, this is an unused talent of mine, clearly. Well, I say unused, but I do hop on basically everything, so perhaps that's not true. Anyway, Bruce! Let's go see how Bruce is doing. Probably a little bit better today, given that there's, you know, a little bit less, you know, risk of exposure. I mean, there's always exposure. When you're outside, there's exposure, but, like, there's exposure and there's exposure, right? This seems like at least a decent day if you've got some fairly warm clothing and whatnot. It's not raining, is what I'm saying. It's not raining, and therefore probably things are a little bit better for him. Bruce, are you not here? Where's Bruce? Bruce? Hanging up by the cliff, by any chance? Bruce is hanging up by the cliff. Hello, Bruce. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. That sounds spooky. Or where? Um... It does sound spooky. I am curious where, but I'm thinking probably by the, um... By the water towers where I've heard that the fire was taking place, right? But maybe it's not the same one? Hmm... It does sound spooky, though. Uh, give me more information. Where did this happen? Right over there. Past the water tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices... Ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, Bruce. That is fair. Why is this cliff here? I I don't want to jump down there for risk of life and limb. But, like, what if I'm supposed to? What if there's stuff down there for me to explore? How would I get back? I don't know. For whatever reason, being May Borowski makes me compelled to try things just because I can. Maybe that's just... Maybe that's just more me and I'm just projecting it onto me, I'm not sure, but like, it feels like I'm rewarded for that sort of behavior, in as much as you can say that sort of thing, about how this game is interacting with me, you know? In any case, let's get down the hill. I got other places to go today. For example, I gotta feed my miracle rats! My babies, they hungry. And since I'm coming from the stairs, this is the perfect timing. Sorry about that, pigeon. A little bit thoughtless of me, I suppose, but I'm on a mission. I got places to go. This guy doesn't have a head. Has that always been true? Hold on. Huh. I hadn't noticed if so. Someone knocked his head clean off. I wonder who that was. I mean, who... who dog. Hello, dog. Uh, who knocked the head off and who was represented there up before the head got knocked off. Okay. So first things first. Let's visit the babies. Yeah. 
Eh. I swear I leave this window open every time, but they just, like... Someone must close it. Perhaps it's just the wind, I don't know. It feels darker in here than it did yesterday. Is it, diff is it later in the day? Did I just sleep in longer? I'm not sure. Hello, Mallard. I don't remember your full name. It's okay. It's alright. You got babies in you. How them babies doing? Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Look at them go. Look at them go. We got any more in there? Yeah, we do. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. Okay. Do we have to steal two pretzels tomorrow? I feel like this is going to escalate rapidly. I feel like eventually the pierogi host has to notice what's going on. Pierogi slinger? Pierogi monger? I mean, mostly they have pretzels. Mostly there are pretzels and I steal the pretzels. So pretzel monger would perhaps be the better thing to call him. Them. I don't know. Goat lung. Okay, I gotta get up there and talk to Lori. Just because, you know, again, I can, and therefore I must. Seems philosophically challenging, that. In any case, here we are. And I can hop on this and make my life a lot easier for getting up here. Hello, Lori. How are you? Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me answer before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. D did you want to go? Sure, or actually I can't. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm guessing this is another option of who I can hang out with in town? Maybe? Maybe. In which case, I don't want to accept yet. Ah, uh, shoot. I wonder if this is one of those situations where I get another chance at it if I... I, I, I don't want to accept right away. Hmm. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It, it'd be really boring anyway. Oh, man. I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm just busy today is all. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. See you later. See ya. Can I... Ah, oh, shoot. It was missable, wasn't it? Ah, oh, shoot. It was missable. I don't get another chance. I should have just accepted. Man. How was I supposed to know I needed to come here first? I'm gonna go visit Roofcat. Drown my sorrows in Roofcat. Well, if I get another opportunity to hang out with Lori, then I guess I should probably do it. Because I would like to. Hello, Roofcat. You have no comment on anything. Hmm. Okay. Well. Fine. Well, fine, I suppose. I am discontent about this. But, you know, I made my choice. I made my choice. There's not much to be done about it at this point. Swing by the pickaxe. See how, Ma how B's doing. I was about to call her May again. Hi there. What's your name? Matt? Are you Matt? You might be Matt. Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. That's really all you have to say, isn't it? I feel like we've had that conversation before. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. I mean, I guess? I guess that's fair. You should probably be talking to B about that rather than me. I don't feel like I can do you a whole lot of good in that regard. I don't even work here, man. Hello, B. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Harfest play? Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting, and I'm doing the work of, like, three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store, Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no. I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. That's that's the song. That's our band song. That was a band song reference. Jeez, that got intense. Ah. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing, too. Fine. So are we doing this? Not sure, got a couple other stops to make, or let's hang out. I got another couple stops to make it about. Okay, cool. Well, perhaps I'll be back. Perhaps I'll be back. Man, man, I wanted to go to the tracks with Lori, though. I didn't realize that there was going to be a choice. People don't just invite me to do stuff. That's not, that's not how it works. I mean, it is how it works. That's clearly exactly how it works. But, like, I wasn't prepared for this. Social commitments suddenly springing upon me in the night. Hello, Angus. How are you? Hey, May. 
Hey Angus, how's Video Land? Good, good. Start off, start up, start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath or Black Oaks? Scythe Sabbath or Black Oaks? Hmm. I'm going Scythe Sabbath. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Bye. I, I, for whatever reason, I wasn't expecting Angus to say bye, but maybe it's just because of the voice I gave Angus. I probably gave Angus the wrong voice, didn't I? I probably gave everyone the wrong voice. And there's not, not only so much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Possibilities is closed forever. It's the worst. Hey, it's CJ. I can never talk to him again. <laughs> I have embarrassed myself and therefore never talking to him again, clearly. Okay, if I go up here, right... I feel like there's probably more to this. There was a guy who yelled at me. I could I could check in with the guy who yells at me. Was that all there was, though? The guy who yells at me isn't here. I can go across the front of the Snack Falcon. Is this where the yell guy was? I don't even remember. There's yell guy. I found him. I found him. I'm on my way, yell guy. You just hang in there. You just you just hang out right there. Yes, I know I haven't talked to Greg yet. I will. I will soon. Hello. What's in the news? Quantra tax closing down next month, laying off last 24 people. Quantrax. I called it Quantra tax because I can't read. Quantrax. What's that? Place out past Brittle. Assembles tiny computer doodads. Oh, okay, yeah, someone I knew his mom's worked there. Real small work. Bad on the fingers after a while. I bagged groceries for a while. How's that? You put the cold, heavy stuff on the bottom, and then the veggies and fruit and the bread on top. Well, looks like you got it all figured out. Apparently I do. Great, good conversation. I don't know if it was actually relevant, given what we were discussing, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. There's a TV in that window. I can't do anything about it, though. All right, let's talk to the sports guys. Hello, sports guys. How are you? Sunny again. Thank goodness. No comment. What's got you down? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? Yeah. Ghost melters. Huh. There's there's more going on here. Is that actually a neck brace that this guy here is wearing this entire time? It, it looks like it is. That's a pretty serious injury, probably, eh? Neck injuries are no joke. Well, seems to be doing relatively okay, I suppose. I mean, I can't really tell. I have no way of knowing anything about this. I will be back, Greg. You just hang in there, okay? I gotta go see if germ's out by the... By the... Uh, whatever it is. The dead thing. The, what was it? Donkey? Food donkey? Something like Food Donkey. It was something like Food Donkey, I'm pretty sure. The hard hometown since 1972, but no longer. Food Donkey, I was right. And Germ is here. Hello, Germ. Hello, Germ. Hey, Germ. Hey. Wanna hang out? I don't know. I'm supposed to hang with Gregor B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. No. <laughs> yes. Uh... Um, <laughs> all the, all the randos around town who I don't consider part of my closest friends group are suddenly asking me to hang out, and I, I'm somehow surprised by this. I just was like, I just wanted to come and chat, you know? I didn't talk to Greg yet! I didn't talk to Greg yet, Germ! I sh apparently I shouldn't be leaving Greg for last. I, so no, I'm sorry, Germ. Okay, bye. Bye. Cool, and I can't talk to him again, so yes, it's a one-time offer. Great, I'm ruining everything. I'm probably not ruining everything, but I feel like I'm ruining everything, and I guess that's really all that's important here. I appear to have ruined things, even if the things are not ruined. Then again, Germ himself did just say that it's not like he's asking me to run away and get married or anything, so it's probably no, so, no big deal, right? It's no big deal. I'm going to go talk to Greg. That was a tiny hat that, that duck had in that car. Just commenting. It was a tiny hat. It was tinier than Angus's hat, and Angus has got a tiny hat. Wait a second, that was another... That looked very much like the guy who was going to the right, but it was going to the left, and it was a different colored bird man, and had a similarly tiny hat. Anyway, Snack Falcon. How are things in here, Greg? Spacing off, staring at nothing. Staring at me now, hello. Hey, hey, hey! Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I wanna do something! Okay, wow. You drink, like, all the coffee? 
you have a near-death experience or something? Uh, did, did, uh, uh, did you? Did you? This job is one long near-death experience. So dude, 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 you wanna do something, something, something? Ugh, can't today, dude. Or yeah, man, let's go. Okay, so here's the thing. So Greg is stir crazy and B is exhausted and wants to just like chill. I did hang out with Greg yesterday. Ah, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. I have to make decisions. Man, there's so many options here. I mean, there are less now. There are fewer options now because I uh, because I ruined two of them. Do we hang out with Greg, who 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 needs to do something in the stir crazy, or do we? Because <sighs> I feel like B probably could use the time to just recharge, and I don't think I'm probably very good at doing nothing. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm probably not great at doing nothing. So do we hang out with Greg again? I'm kind of leaning towards it. Mm. Oh man, it's just social commitments, right? It's just social commitments, but... And it's not like I need to alternate between my friends or anything like that. That's not how it works, but I kind of feel like I should, you know? Since every time I'm choosing to hang out with one of them over the other, it makes it me feel like it's more it's a weightier decision than it probably actually is. But Okay, so B is just stressed out and needs to needs to do nothing for a while. But she probably needs to like vent maybe. She might need to vent. She could vent at me. Let's see how he takes it if I say no. Oh man. It's cool. Is it though? Is it cool? Man, is anything cool? I genuinely... I'm getting stressed out about social things, Greg. I'm getting stressed out about social things, Greg. Okay, let's go. Let's, go, let's, let's, let's think about this here. Let's think about this here. I don't want to just refuse to do absolutely everything, which is what I've done. It's literally what I've done at this point, is I've refused to do absolutely everything. But like... There's not a right answer, that's the thing. There's not a right answer, you just go with the one you want to do. And I feel like... I feel like, I don't know, maybe I can do be some good? Maybe not? Maybe I should just, like, chill is the thing? Maybe I should just be chill about things? But I'm not good about being a chill about things. Be, I, you know I'm not. Hi. So are we doing this? We're doing this, B. We're doing this. Let's let's hang out, B. Germ is here. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. I gave you a really high voice because I thought it was me talking. Um, Germ, what are you behind the counter for? Do you work here as well? Hey, dude. Germ is helping me move stuff for stuff for under the table cash. I see. Well, I guess that explains things. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Want to come? Sure. I guess we're getting groceries then. Great. I'm just gonna stand here on the counter awkwardly. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. All right then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. <laughs> he is, isn't he? That's a good description. Dinner at B's. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. Or... Donkey! <laughs> I have to, I'm sorry, B. You sure showed Ham Panther Corporate who's boss. Actually, do you did you know our senator is on the Ham Panther board or something? Oh, geez, really? You know you're zero fun, right? <laughs> She's not, though. She's not zero fun. I do know that. Yes, okay, apparently maybe she is. Never mind. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. No, oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. We are hanging out. It's true. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess... Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? 
Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides? Fancy. Or, what counts as a main course? Uh, what counts as a main course in this case? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out at whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Ah, <laughs> I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Okay, cool. Um, anything else? Any other specifications aside from the not broccoli? We need a canned good or something. Okay, a canned good or something. These are cans. These are cans right here. I'm pretty sure these are cans right here. Um, Tash. Gibba. And a, and a purple thing with a chicken on it. Tash. Tash? What is Tash? I don't... Okay, what are these over here? We have mac and cheese, we have tasty taters, and we have mashy smooth and nice rice. Okay, okay. Um... Okay, okay. And then cool sides. Cool sides? Quick skits. Cream greens. Okay, okay. I don't know if the greens include broccoli is the thing. Hmm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. Mmm, yes. Bakey shaky does go well with meat, that's that's true. Okay, so we're we're having meat with breaded breaded with bakey shaky. In which case in which case okay, in which case what? In which case sides, sides. Um potatoes are good. Smooth mashies or tasty taters. I feel like I feel like maybe the tasty taters are a thing that I should do. There's also mac and cheese, but like mm, mac and cheese is hard to refuse. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A canned or something. Canned good or something. She's, she specifically said she wants a canned good, but GB could very well have broccoli in it. I'm not really sure. This, I have no idea what that is. It's got a little picture of a chicken, but, like, we have chicken people. That could mean anything. Um, Tash. Is Tash something? Have I... I is, is Tash a food that y'all just haven't ever told me about? I want to know what Tash is. Give me the Tash. Suck a Tash. Oh, it's Suck a Tash. Thuck a Tash. No. Yes. No. What's this? Greeny beanies. No. Cream of chicken soup. No. Okay, so I can look at the things and find out what they are. Got it. Well, that helps a lot. Okay, mac and cheese. Good old mac and cheese. No. Tasty taters. Taters. No. What's mashies versus taters? Mashed potatoes. No. And then nice rice. Nice rice. No. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What we got in cool sides again? Quick skits. Hmm, biscuits. No. I do like biscuits a lot. Cream greens. Cream spinach? No. No nothing. No nothing, no everything. Okay, okay, so we got our choices. We got our choices. I want biscuits. I want biscuits. I want biscuits. I like biscuits. I like biscuits a lot is the thing. I'm getting biscuits. Biscuits. Yes, give me the biscuits. Ooh la la. Great, we got biscuits. Okay, so what goes with biscuits and breaded meat? Um, I feel like normal people have vegetables, but like these are canned green beanies, and I I can't really get behind that. There's the cream of well, cream of chicken soup with biscuits and meat. That could be something. I mean, biscuits and gravy is a whole thing, right? Um, am I taking too long, B? Are we good? Uh, hang on, hang on. I wonder if I should be consulting with her having gotten some stuff, you know? I was supposed to get two things, right? About two things? It wasn't three things. It was two things? Well, hang on. Potatoes are also good, but we don't want to be all starch all the time. I mean, I do, but most people don't. Mmm. Succotash. I've never had succotash. Is it any good? I don't know. This isn't going to be particularly well balanced if I get the cream of chickens. I'm doing it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Delish. Yes. It's, it's, it's wonderful things. It's wonderful stuff happening right here. Now, do we also get potatoes? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do we get the smooth mashies or do we get the tasty taters? It's boxed mashed potatoes, which is probably going to be not as... Get, get this one. Taters. Yes. Mm, boy, delicious. Okay, great. Okay, great. B, did I do good? B, what do you think? My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. 
Oh, we're done. Great. No one is questioning my decisions. Fantastic. I love it when no one questions me. Now then. He's letting me jump today. It's a wonderful day. Okay. Dad's here. Look who it is. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Just you? No, meat friends. Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives. Not working. Oh, I mean, yeah, good point. Unemployment is a difficult place for most people, except for me, apparently. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a financial liability. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? All right. What can I get for you ladies? Pork chops, chicken, ground beef, one of your best fishes, please. Okay, so what did I get? I got potatoes, I got biscuits, I got breading for the for the whatever meat, and I got cream of chicken soup. So, does cream of chicken work on pork chops? Ground beef? No, ground beef wouldn't work. You can't put you can't put the ground the the, the 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 crummy bits on it if it's ground beef. That's not how it works. I mean, you could mash it in there and make a meatloaf, I suppose. Hmm. Between chicken and pork chops, then. Because, I mean, fish is not going to work with what I got, I don't think. I feel like I didn't get fish material, necessarily. Cream of chicken soup and fish is probably a gross concept. Cream of chicken soup and pork chops? Does that work? Chicken and pork? I feel like it would work, but I might be weird. I don't know if I have good taste. Cream of chicken and chicken, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just more chicken. It's just chicken all the way down. So, maybe spice it up just a little bit, but not quite so much as with fish. Pork chops, I think, then. Pork chops, please. We got that. We got that. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? No. Uh, apparently I can reconsider? You shouldn't give me this sort of power. No. Wait, Dad. I changed my mind. What if I say chicken? Can't go wrong there. Okay, so you're, you're, you're actually giving me the option to confirm, and my dad comments on it, which means I need to see all of them. I changed my mind again. Ground beef, chicken, pork chops, they changed the order on me. How dare you? Ground beef? Classic. Mm, do not pull the trigger. Do not pull the trigger. No. I changed my mind again. Where's the fish? Tell me about the fish. One of your best fishes, please. Whatever's good. Dinner for three people. Not too pricey. Can do. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? No. I changed my mind again. Pork chops, like I said in the first place. We're doing it. Give me the meat trigger. Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's go get our meats. Let's get our meats, rather. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. <laughs> I sure hope it isn't a disaster. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies, let's see what you all got. What all you got? Hmm, hmm. Yes, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh no, Dad's judging! Interesting? Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck! Alright, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Oh no, oh no. Tell your dad I said hello! See you later, Dad. Night, ladies. You could have judged it before I pulled the trigger on the- before I pulled the meat trigger! That was fun! Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun! Dinner's gonna be a disaster. I've ruined everything. Woohoo. She's not convinced. D dinner's... I've, I've ruined it. I've ruined it already! My dad's judgment hangs over me like a... Sword of Damocles. Dinner time. Dinner time? Dinner time? Um. Yeah. What? Do you want me to order a pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuffs. Alright. I ruined it! D did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll live, I think. <laughs> I don't think pork and chicken were supposed to meet this way. Why not? Oh, really? Did you like it? No, I agree. It is very terrible. Oh, so we actually made it and it is terrible? Oh, man. 
Ah, I was right. You should have pork with chicken. Dang it. So yeah, we're all paid up till 15th next month. Nah, all right. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Uh, okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Well, this is a pleasant atmosphere to be in. Sure is a good thing I ruined dinner, huh? Ugh, dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Uh, yep, I, I ruined it. I ruined everything. I can't get up. I can get up, baby. I can't get up. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. I can, I can move now. Hi. I'm talking to you. Smelters, huh? You a fan? Not really, or... I like hockey. I... like hockey. Hockey? Psh! What's not to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. And beating the living crap out of each other. Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but it's like expected that someone is going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. You're just, you're just being judgy, my dude. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Eh. Okay, well, you're just going to be that way. I guess fair enough. I can't jump in B's house. I guess it makes sense. I'm on my best behavior. Aside from where it comes to choosing things for dinner. Apparently pork doesn't go with chicken. I mean... I, for some reason, I didn't know that. I, I, it should it's chicken and chicken, right? Chicken and chicken, nice and straightforward. I guess that's normal people stuff. I'm, I might not be a normal people. I don't know. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. She's not commenting on that. It's fair. Your old room was like. Uh. Maybe don't compare it to her old room. I'm guessing that's not a kind of a sensitive... It might be a sensitive subject. Pretty cool record player you got there. As far as record players go. It was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. I guess something doesn't become retro and then stop being retro later on. So, I've got a question. Mm-hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? Or, your dad's kind of up and down, huh? Um... Um... That's just straight up... I mean, both of these inv involve a certain amount of judgment. The question is, do we want to cut to the meat of the matter right away or not? I feel like I'm kind of a cut to the meat of the matter type of person overall, but like... Do we want to approach it sideways? Your dad's not actually helping you? I'm going with this one. Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> Greg's always been like that, too. Just more, uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. I mean, probably? Maybe? Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything, as he wasted no time in pointing out. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're, like, selling yourself out, or I would probably just quit. I feel like if I say I would probably just quit, she's going to, it's going to immediately go back to the thing where I pr did, in fact, just quit college, which, you know, she might not be in a position to understand, and also, that's something that she dreamed of having, and I had it, and I abandoned it, as far as she can tell, completely on a whim. But this is also, like, a horrible thing to say, so I guess, invite the fire, I guess I have to invite the fire. Shoot me down, B. Here we go. I would probably just quit. Or, like, take over the store. Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces... Is this really the road you want to go down with this? 
I'm saying you should stand up for yourself or just, like, quit. Or, I'm saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Ugh. Ugh, the judgments. Oh, the judgments. Ah, oh, the judgments. Oh. What's the difference? Okay, think about it. What's the difference? Stand up for yourself or, or just quit. And what then what then? Like, how does she make a living? Where does she live? What happens to her father? That's... So maybe this one? Not right that you just roll over and take it? Go with that one. Go with that one. Quitting is unrealistic. Go with this one. Take it. Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? What? Why? Uh, so... I'll go with why? Ah. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair Guy Creek at the shop? No? Y yeah, which is no, but yeah. Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? I don't follow. I'm going, what the? I do follow. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Yeah, that's right. That's the right response. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family, and he needs the work. That's disgusting. It is. I'm going to be sick. It is disgusting. I'm going to go with this disgusting. It's not your responsibility to... I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook... Off the hook! Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. Y you... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shithead, you know that? Arg, or... What the hell? I'm going, what the hell, I guess? What the hell? Ugh, what the hell? A lot of times folks just can't choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You always have a choice, or you can always choose. It's the same things. It might not... The, the thing is that there's fallout for choices, there's responsibility for choices, and I don't seem to be great about accepting that, but I'm also not in a position... Like, I don't know my own history, but I suspect there's more to it than is being told. What? Yeah, technically, you always have a choice, it's just that it's not always a good one. I guess I'll go with this one. Says the child woman with no job. No rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions. I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? It's just not right is what I'm saying, or that is not what I'm saying. I mean, it is kind of what I was saying. I'm going to go with it's not just not right is what I'm saying. Yeah, it isn't. Nothing's right. The whole effing world isn't right. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. If you, you just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry, but you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around, messing with people, and taking whatever you want. While the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. You should go. Okay, well... That was important. Yeah. 
but I may have lost a friend. I can't, of course I can't go back in. I already apologized. It may have not have been the most heartfelt apology I could muster. Are you asleep? You look asleep. Bad pork. Why? I ruined dinner. I ruined the friendship. Ruining a lot of things not tonight. It... <laughs> Ham, panther, dinner. Dad, fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage football. Hi, Dad. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. <laughs> lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's... vague? <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. I'm talking here because I figured out that I can now. Hi. Apparently I'm going back over there. So, about those crawl space boxes. Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit, or now nah, I'm heading to bed. Yeah, for a little bit, for a little bit. Let's watch this. It's probably the same show, yeah? Garbo and Malloy, here we are. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty, empty beer bottle thrown at your head. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's a whopper. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? Yes, you sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whopper. There it is. They got to finish out the episode with that. I'm pretty sure it's a... Uh... Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Apparently they don't end out the episode with that's a whopper every time. Shows what I know. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Are they a couple, then? I guess I never really thought about it. Anyway, thanks for hanging, Dad. I uh, hope I can smooth things out with B tomorrow, or possibly thereafter. It might take some time. This was something that we needed to have out, I, I suspect. I've got some growing up to do. But that's difficult. And also, the thing is, I don't know anything about her situation, but she doesn't know anything about mine, because I haven't shared anything. Not even with me, the player, you know? I know nothing. Nothing at all. Aside from, I have trauma about... Finally, Dad's gonna move these. I'm gonna crawl back in here and read a book. Like old times. Probably good. Probably good. Probably good. But anyway, about college. About leaving college. Clearly something went wrong enough that I came back. And my self-esteem is entirely in the garbage. Which tonight's fight didn't help with, but... computer. We can see if we can smooth things out a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Let's see if she's willing to talk. She is. She is. Talking is happening. I'm going to check in with Greg first because stress. Hey, kid. hey -o. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no, about what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. 
You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. I don't know why I'm giving you an accent all of a sudden, Greg. Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, duder. E. Hey, B. You there? Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. More civil than it could have been. Gotta take what I can get in this instance, I suspect. Great. Great, well, um... I guess I'm going to bed. Bedtime? Yes. More nightmares? Probably more nightmares, huh? That seems to be how it goes lately. And certainly today was stressful enough that they're warranted. No guitar means nightmares. Oh boy. It seems bad tonight. But it's another one of these ones where I need to find the... Okay, well we got a storm of some sort going on, huh? What is that? What is this? Some machine making red pulsing and... bonging noises. It almost sounds like a drum set. I can climb up here. I guess I'll do that. Get up onto the roof. Sure. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow Country. Deep Hollow Country? Hmm. Deep Hollows. What's a Deep Hollow? Should I know that? Moon sure still looks eclipsed. That's three nights in a row it's been... Why are the... Why are the lanterns so ominous tonight? Also, where are the musicians? Are there no musicians this time? Okay, this is a cliff now. I guess let's go up further. For lack of a better idea. Oh, hey. There's someone here. Someone smoking. I don't know who that is. I'm going up here, though. Ah, found one. What the... Okay. Saxophonist. Deployed. Okay. I'm falling a long way. Are we good? We're good. Great. Can't die from falling in dreams. I'm on a train? I'm on a train? Is that why everything's moving? It's not that there's a storm, it's that I'm on a train. Okay. Well, that changes things somewhat. I can't walk on this fence. Which is surprising in a way. This is still the same as it was a minute ago. It wants me to go up, though. It wants me to go up into the right. I saw that. There was a red light up there. So, how do I get there? I must have missed something, right? Maybe I need to jump off the end of one of these platforms? There's a lantern here. Oh, the light's in the bottom right. Okay, I see it. I see it. Oh, there it is! There it is! It's, it's on top of this building. Okay, so I gotta get there. How do I get there? It's like... It takes platforming to actually make it to the musician this time. It's getting more complicated. Which, I guess... Things are getting more complicated, so it's maybe representative of that, I suppose. Maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Reading into it too much. I don't know. But thank goodness the light glows from it, because otherwise I would not know where to drop down. I think it's here. I can't drop down here. Okay, well, then that idea is ruined. What if I go this way, and then... <sighs> no, not that simple. How do I get up there? Windowsill. No. Okay. Travel across the roofs, maybe. There's a telephone pole there. If I jump... What do I do? Maybe if I jump to the telephone pole from here? There we go, and now onto the roof, and then onto the other roof, and here we are, the accordionist. I like how I have this reserved band in my brain. They always play the same instruments. Don't yet have the melody going. I think both of these parts I've found are playing the harmony. The other two should be over this way, huh? Well, let's have a look. Definitely more, um, sinister-sounding music tonight. A little bit of a mild carnival feel, but, like, that might just be the instrument choices that my brain makes. Not sure. 
But can I climb up this tree in order to get up into the top of the building here? Let me see here. Got the triple jump. How about it? That's a no. Can't get onto that particular tree. Because I can see that one of the musicians is right up there, see? So I know I gotta cross the roofs again. Well, let's try going this way first. Why are there trees growing out of a train, by the way? Because this is a dream, eh? Because that third thing can just happen in dreams. Question it all you want, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Okay, so one of them is at the caboose, that's a start. It's not, not so much a start as a finish, but... Okay. We got the violinist, we got the melody going now. And it turns out the saxophone is carrying the melody sometimes. I really do like the music in these dream sequences. It's really good. I mean, I guess the music's just overall very good, but... It's easier to focus on it in the dream sequences, because I'm just running around and I have nothing else to focus on. Except for maybe, like, jump puzzles. How do I get up there? I gotta get up there, but, like, how? Windowsills are not an option. smokestack here, but it's not tall enough for to get me anywhere. Unless it is. Hang on. Can I get to there? No, I can't. How do I get up? How do I get up? Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe I need to go all the way back and then go up into the rafter structures that I was in before, and then jump to the left and get across onto the roofs and run my way across the roofs. That could be a thing. Maybe? I didn't think that the rafter section actually made it over this far to the left, but... I've been wrong before. Also, what is this central part with the bonging and the red lights? I have no idea. This way. Right, if I just jump here? No, I feel like that's not going to be good enough. I need to get onto that sign, so we need to go up further and then jump to the left. So go up to where the, um... Uh, the saxophonist was, but go to the left instead of the right, and then all the way up. Or all the way. Over. Is that even a possibility? I don't remember. It feels like it's not gonna work, but I don't have a better idea, so... Yeah, it's, this is not an option. But the tower's right up here, right? There's the tower, okay. So what do I do? How do I get there? Hmm. Perhaps we just jump for it and see what happens. I can't jump into the moon, can I? That would be convenient if I could. Let's try and do a triple jump. See if it helps. No, it's not good enough. Wait, it is good enough. It was good enough. Okay, great. It was good enough. I can't stand on that. Okay. Over to here. And across. Beautiful. Okay. This ledge exists. It does. I can go up here and light the lantern. I thought there was a lantern up here. There is indeed. And I can check out the sign. Whoa! Opposing train. Faded into nothingness towards the end there. Ghost train, even. Dang. I don't have my bat, so I can't smash this up. Plus, it's probably not an appropriate dream for that sort of behavior. Okay. That's a big jump. I think I probably need a triple jump for that one. Up. Up. Hut. There we go. Beautiful. Got it. Tubaman. Give him hell, Tubaman. Alright. I gotta get back to the center, then. I always feel a little bad running directly back to the center, though, since you only get to enjoy the full experience of the music for a little while if I go immediately back. But, but I got to. So who's gonna kill me tonight? Okay. What is that? Is that B? It's A alligator, certainly. Probably not B. Didn't have the eyeliner. another night. Okay, well, that day sure was an experience overall, wasn't it? And here I am, in my futon that counts as a bed. But I guess that's where we're leaving it for today. Man, that was, um, that was not a good day. But it was an important day, I feel like. B needed to get that off of her chest. It probably hasn't made things better. And I don't know that May necessarily understands what has happened here, or what B is saying. And I don't think that B necessarily un understands May's situation either, because that was just mostly B 
snapping and yelling at me for a while, which again, she needed to do. I wasn't understanding some things, but I feel like we need to have it out in a much more composed fashion, if possible, you know? But what do I know about it? I know nothing. I know nothing. For now, I'm asleep. So thank you for watching. Next time, we'll try and do better. See you then.